Hi Virgo, this will be your weekly reading, weekly love reading from the 9th to the 13th of September. Before we get started, I just want to thank everyone for all of the comments and likes uh, from the weekend. I have absolutely loved, loved, loved hearing your stories. Um, please remember to keep me posted, keep me updated with what's happening in your life and how this resonates for you in the comments below. But let's get started on these love readings. So love readings from the 9th to the 13th. Straight away, Nine of Cups. You're feeling good, Virgo. This is great. in reverse interesting What's happening Virgo got this positive en energy at the start and then into a little bit of instability which is interesting <laughs> and the moon <laughs> instability and complexity could be a Pisces could be a Gemini, could be a Leo. There's a few big cards on the table here. Lots of majors and a Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. Mm. Some sort of secret came out recently. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because in the weekends, a secret was going to come out all weekend with about three different signs. So you may be one of the signs that's affected. Um, it looks like a secret has come out, but you're actually not that bothered by it. It has absolutely impacted your relationship though and may have even ended it. Um, it might not be a permanent ending. Maybe that's not why you're, maybe that is why you're kind of not bothered by it. But this Nine of Cups here and the Ten of Swords in reverse, you're not heartbroken over this, which I guess is great, really, but a little bit unusual. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let's start with the... Let's start with Strength in reverse. What's happening with Strength in reverse, please? Oh, okay, straight away. Nine of Swords in the upright. Yeah, okay. So maybe it hasn't hit you yet. Um, like I said, you might know that it's actually not a proper breakup. And you're, this sorrow, I'm going to call it sorrow because it's kind of a pretty sorrowful card. You're holding it within. Um, you're kind of keeping it buried to yourself you're not really telling anyone uh can i have another one on the nine of swords please you keep you're definitely keeping this within two of wands because you haven't really decided if it's over okay so you're probably telling them that it's over because of whatever this thing that's come out is but you're not you haven't actually really decided that you're done with this person. Why is the lovers in reverse? I can't wait till we get to how the other person feels because that's going to be interesting. Okay, so when I asked for clarification on the lovers, we got the seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so you're like, I'm not um, taking any more I'm not I'm not yeah I'm not taking any more from this I'm not giving or taking any more from this at the moment I'm just going to um, pull back like you're withdrawing from this connection hmm. can I have another one on the seven of pentacles please this is very confusing for me eight of cups in reverse yeah so this always symbolizes to me that you're not uh, emotionally moving on so I think exactly like I've said you're you've decided ahead 
over heart decision, you're going, you've are you said, no, it's over, but emotionally you're not there. You actually haven't really decided to end it for some reason. What was this moon? We'll see if they give us anything. Ooh, the star came out and the empress. Okay, so whatever it was, it was big. And it could have actually involved another person um like someone or or children even but i'm kind of feeling like this is another person maybe even in the workplace but they um you you were worried about this person but they're actually nothing to worry about because this star's here interesting okay why is the ten of swords in reverse I kind of know why the ten of swords is in reverse because you haven't actually let go of them but let's see what comes out interesting with that impress that's a whole different that's a whole new energy it's someone older too i don't know why it just is just get that stuff come through sometimes yeah page of one so <laughs> yeah i i think maybe you're being a little bit immature about this or they're being a little bit immature about this um and they're not you're not commute the two of you are not communicating properly there's been a little bit of a spat i feel like it's something to do with someone else there's been this third party but i don't think it's actually a third party actual cheating physical cheating maybe it's been i don't know messages or emails or something that you've discovered um but it's not it's actually not as bad as it looks is where i'm coming from here and i'm not someone that sort of says that sort of stuff very easily so okay and that could be why you're a bit confident over here too because you know you haven't done anything wrong over here. You're like, you know what, I did everything right. I've acted with integrity. You're over here with your moon energy and your other person, which who knows what's happening. Um, but I'm definitely getting this very kind of childish vibe and probably from both of you. Sorry to be honest, but that's kind of what happens. Sorry, Virgo. Okay, how are Virgo feeling about this this week? Nice. So oh, yes. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> okay, two of cups in reverse and the eight of pentacles. So, um, basically, you are not sure if you want to work on this relationship anymore because you think that maybe it's so damaged that this person can't be forgiven. Um, that's just what you're thinking. That doesn't mean that that's what's actually going to happen. This is just what's going on in your thoughts and vibration at the moment. Uh, and that's where you're at. So you're definitely in contemplation and decision mode about whether or not it's really worth continuing on. But you haven't totally made a decision. You've just told them you have. Uh, what's the other person feeling about this? What's this other person feeling about this? Justice in reverse. They think that the whole thing is unfair and that you're being unreasonable, which is where this page of wands is. And I'm not here to judge. I don't know if you are or not, but that's just how they're feeling. They're feeling like um, it's blown up into something of epic proportion seven of cups they're considering their other options be careful virgo i think you guys i was warning you warning you of stalking over the weekend and maybe that's what's come out is you've been doing some stalking and you've discovered something you didn't like in this empress over here okay i want to take one more for that Oh, three of cups. Yeah. Okay. So they, yeah, there probably was some sort of third party discovery over here. Um, but I don't, I, I'm not getting the sense of the third party in that it was physical. So 
like I said, I don't know whether it was emails or like flirting emails or text messaging, which absolutely, if you know, that every relationship is different. And if you're not comfortable with that, I totally support that. But I think that it's not like a physical, someone has physically slept with someone else or cheated or kissed or whatever it is. Okay, what's the most likely outcome for Virgo? Five of Pentacles. So this week it looks like whatever happens, you're going to give them an answer either way. Um, that you guys are coming out of the cold from one another. The hangman. But it's going to take some time. So you're going to hold. You not. It won't be at the beginning of the week. It'll be towards the end of the week. You're still in contemplation mode with hangman. Thinking about the ways of life like the fool's journey. Yep. Yeah. Someone got caught out though. There's definitely this deception. Um, Seven of Swords. So just be careful that it has actually, whatever's happened has actually ended with that Seven of Swords in the upright. It just, if it was in reverse, I would think that it's ended. Yeah, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Uh, it's definitely having a mental impact on probably the other person, um, or and you, of course, but it's affecting their mental health more than you might realize. So, um, yeah, there's a little bit of instability, like mental instability, lack of groundedness there. All right, let's do, I want to do much clarification, uh, advice for you guys. Oh, uh, Okay, this is there for Virgo. Oh, straight away. Six of Swords in reverse. So you are not, it's unlikely that you're ready to move on from this. Um, and even if you are, you kind of, it, when the Six of Swords is in reverse, you move on, but you don't actually deal with the problems you need to. Um, so it's sort of saying, don't just sweep stuff under the carpet, make sure that you sort it all out so that if you start clear, free, bleh, if you start fresh, it all comes out clear. Yeah. So there's more secrets to be revealed. You've got the moon in reverse. There's more to come out. And this is what it's saying. You need to clear all those secrets, all those swords before you decide whether or not you can actually start fresh. So it looks like there's probably some conversations that need to happen, Virgo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, King of Swords, oh, King of Swords, King of Wands and um, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Uh, so yeah, you need to go in with a very... Uh, know what you want uh, don't get sort of caught up in the passion of it stick to the facts make your clear decisions release your burdens by having these conversations so go in he's a very kind of strong um, but an emotional king like whereas the king of swords is very intellectual and only makes very cold sensible decisions the King of Wands, he's a little bit, he's not as emotional as the Cups, but he's still, um, he's, he's a combination of emotion and intellect. So go in with both of those balanced and have those conversations, get the secrets out, clear the swords so you're not trying to move on. Um, you've still got some difficulty to go through as well, also with the Six of um, Swords in reverse. So you haven't quite moved into those smooth sailing waters. You've still got some uh choppy waters to get through unfortunately let's do a romance angel for each of you though decisions to make oh are these upside down let's start again so romance advice for Virgo this could be the one so I think that's why you quite haven't quite made the decision yet, Virgo. You know that there's a pretty deep love here. You do have the lovers, even though it's in reverse. 
um, it still indicates that those feelings run pretty deep, you know, they can't just be forgotten. So um, you'll have to assess whether this is something that you can actually get past. But again, make sure it really has ended. That's why I think it's interesting that Seven of Swords is still in the upright for what the outcome for this week and your advice is Moon in Reverse. It tells me that not all, not everything's come out yet. There's more to tell, unfortunately. I wish I had better messages for you guys sometimes. And your other person is past life relationship, which could be why they're like, this is totally unfair. I don't want to lose this person. So under the deck, love yourself first. Couldn't agree more. Okay, Virgo, have a great week. I hope it all works out. Don't forget to subscribe and like and leave me a comment in the uh, comment section below. I'd love to hear what's going on in your world at the moment. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Bye.